Entering this low water temperature season, I had a new strategy. Sea trout come desperately close to shoreline in the cold water. The only thing that was needed to shift my perspective was for someone to give me a fly in the right moment. He gave me a fly and left sort of the message, stop using these small shrimps. There are bigger fish around and they are on the hunt for big meat. This someone was Nicola Bauer and his big flash tail bait fish. Since then I've caught both small and big fish on this fly. So for weather conditions like today, I sure knew what to tie on. Today we have some incredible weather. It's almost like spring is here. Sunshine, seven degrees plus, and a little bit cold on the ears in the wind, but it's fantastic. Fishing with my colleagues Daniel and Simon, but they're a bit separated now. We're just so excited to cast for a few hours for a good sea trout. Let's do it. One little casting advice when it comes to casting in a strong side wind like we have today is that uh, the, the, the casting is so efficient now. The wind is blowing, hitting my good shoulder. So it's easy to cast long, but there is so much energy in the line now because I'm casting parallel to the wind. The wind comes like this and I'm casting right 90 degrees uh, from the wind. Excellent casting conditions. But what happens is that it's splashing a lot when it's landing. The line is just, it turn, turns over so aggressively, then hits with a splash. So step number one is that I shorten my casting. I just cast the head and a few meters longer. So if there is a nice stone out here, for example, or a nice edge or so, I don't want to present my fly line over it and retrieve through there. That's not gonna work because the line is gonna spook the fish. So I tried to land with the flies right away there, let them sink for a little bit to do as good of a presentation there as possible. But you can do something in the cast also to make that landing smoother. And that's what I've done now in every cast here is that I'm lowering the rod. I'm doing my cast up here but then for the presentation, I lowered the rod so that I, I sort of kill the loop. That way it's just rolling out a big loop with less energy, so it will land much smoother. Even though I make such a bad loop, the wind is just still gonna help me to present that fly. But it's gonna do so with much less splash. So when it comes to fly casting, for me, it's first about learning the fundamentals of casting to be able to break them in the scenarios that you are in currently. So there is not a one-time answer what is a good fly cast. It is a dy dynamic thing that will always change depending on the scenario. And I think that's fascinating. I enjoy that part of fly fishing very much. On a new place now, we didn't have uh, any results on the first place, so it's time to move on. When you're three people, and fish different waters. We can cover so much water quickly. So even though we're just fishing the afternoon now, three hours, we're covering so wide areas. It's crazy. It feels like we have an easier time here the, the waves are a little bit more easy on us, <laughs> I could say, and wind strength has, might have dropped just a little bit, so... I mean, the, the method that I used on the place before, it makes it possible to cast in strong wind, but it's not ideal. Presentations here are better, I would say.
Ooh. There I had, ah, oh, I did such a port success. But there is definitely something there. Yep, yeah. yeah. that's a big one. That's a big one. How could it take like three times? And it took on that bait fish. Awesome. Woohoo! <laughs> It's a good sized fish and it sure was hungry. Took like three times. Second time I made the craftiest hook set and pulled the fly away from him. But still, it is on. I'm gonna do the gamble of reeling in here. It takes taking some line meanwhile so that's good usually it's very difficult to land them in big waves like this so it's nice to have the line away from the, the business <laughs> this is a big fish it looks like a post spawner Probably over 60 and not 70, I think. Oh, that was a big jump. I hope I didn't cover it with my arms. Can go quick here. Yes, there we go. <laughs> what a banger of a fish this is. Oh, the fly came out in the net. Look at that. Big bait fish fly. Look at that, gorgeous. Oh, I can't get a good mesh, oh there. Oh, it's below 60 I think. Before we continue fishing, I'm just gonna lift the skirt on this fly a little bit, show how much flash there is in it. They must be going crazy for this stuff right now. So I just came out casting again, and I might have had one take there. Yep. Yeah. Ah, I lost one right here. <laughs> it was... <laughs> <laughs> Underneath my rod. That was crazy. I must have spooked it. I couldn't see it. It was just stuff happening in the wave. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's quite some waves. Oh, another good one. Another good one. This is chrome. 
Oh, he's crazy angry. I think he took on the Gamorus. Just holding the rod low. Let's see what... No, he took the bait fish. Oh, it's... It's mean. <laughs> this side... Alongside... Casting... In the shallow water. I don't know how big this is. Now it's going sideways here. It doesn't do anything. Could be bigger. I haven't really seen it up close. a good fish this is bigger oh this is a big chrome <laughs> this is a big chrome with that bait fish in his mouth Oh wow! It doesn't really do much. It tries to swim a little bit. Maybe I can dare to take out the net. Let's see if it can. See me off on it! Whoa! <laughs> I just snuck up on it! Oh wow! I need to call Daniel. I thought maybe you can help me take some video of this fish. Absolutely! Oh goodness! <laughs> oh, 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 oh what a beauty! So, 67 centimeter of chrome. Gonna lift it up one more time. Dang, that's a sea trout. Just a short session on the coast. This uh, goes to um, big credit to Niklas Bauer. Uh, this is like similar to predator, predator dubbing bait fish in copper, but he took it to the extra large version with some Titan dub, a lot of different flashes, and made it like a magnum size of a bait fish. And I'm just, pff, how the fishing I've had with this so far, just beyond everything. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for coming over, Daniel, and helping me with that. I don't think I would have coped in this tough weather. Here. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Amazing. wow. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. You deserve it. <laughs> it for sure was a spring day today, like seven degrees plus and sunshine, but the spring is far from here. The prime season is like from mid-March until mid-May and all three of us is guiding then. We're super excited to host a lot of trips here. It's gonna be a, a whole lot of fun. So check out the link in the video description for more info about our guiding trips and uh, yeah, maybe we meet each other in the spring.